Well, next, let's talk about something else that'll really help you out in the long run. You're thinking, what is that stupid looking picture? Well, that stupid looking picture is Gallon Man or Gallon Guy, or it could be Gallon Girl or whatever you want to make him or her, okay? Now, this will help you out. Just, it's a thing you need to kind of just remember. It's pretty simple, actually. We'll do a little human anatomy and physiology. For those who've had AMP1 already, well, maybe you're taking it this semester. You've already had it. You'll take it eventually. You'll learn something. Okay. Well, here we go. It's called Gallon Man because this, the body, represents one gallon. Well, let's do a little AMP here. You have one bone right here. You got one bone right here. Now, yeah, you know, in your lower, and I can't show my legs down there, but your thighs. There's one bone in this thigh, one bone in this thigh. Well, guess what? One, two, three, four. What are there four of in a gallon? They're quarts, four quarts. So this represents one quart. This is one quart. That's one quart. Hey, QTs, quart. So four quarts in a gallon. Well, so there's one bone here, it's one bone, but there are two bones here. Two bones here. In your lower limbs, your thighs here, in your legs, there are two bones there. The tibia and the fibula. So there are two pints in every quart. Look here, there's a quart. What are there coming off that quart? Two of something, two pints. So each of these, each of these is a pint. I'll just put that right there. Each of them, one's there, one's there. These are pints. So there, this is a quick thing to look at and say, oh, there are two pints in a quart. There are one, three, three, four, four quarts in a gallon. Let's keep going. Now we have to be anatomically incorrect here. You have five fingers on each hand. Unless this friend of mine, he works at the lumber mill. He's only got four, okay? But let's act like you only have four. And no, you don't have these two fingers coming off of this bone and these two coming off of this bone, but act like that is the case. We have two fingers coming off of this bone, two fingers coming off of this bone. Well, guess what? There are two cups in each pint. See, that's one pint, that's one pint. In each pint, there are two cups. So each one of these is a cup. Now you can write cup as a capital C or a little c. You can put the dot there, leave the dot off, that doesn't matter. So these are all cups, cups, cups. So here, just think the human body with a few slight modifications, like no thumbs. There are, look at this, two cups in each pint. See, two cups in each pint. Well, there are two pints in each quart. There are one, two, three, four quarts in each gallon. By the way, I didn't make this up. This isn't my idea. I'm not, you know, this isn't copyrighted by, by me. I don't know I, who made this up, but it's pretty handy. So I'm gonna, just like with the medicine cup, I'm gonna take a still picture of this. I'll post this. You need to memorize this. Now, a few more things about this though that will come in handy, really, really handy. <clears throat> you might know this, maybe, I don't know. Do you know how many ounces there are in a quart. Anybody out there? Aha, I saw a hand. Yes, there are 32 ounces in every quart. Quart is 32 ounces. Which means though, if there are two pints in every quart, let's see, if a quart is 32 ounces and there's two pints in each one, each pint must be half of that, right? Let's see, half of 32, that's 16. Each pint is but here's 16 ounces. And what else? Oh, well, each pint has two cups in it. So a cup is a half of a pint. So how many ounces are there in each cup? There's eight. We go any place here. One quart, again, that's 32 ounces. Each pint is 16 ounces. Each cup is eight ounces. That's just a quick, handy way, I hope, if it's not, ignore it, okay? A quick, handy way to know how many cups in a pint, how many pints in a quart, how many quarts in a gallon, and how many ounces are there in each of those things. One last one, maybe, I don't know if there's a last one or not. 
if there's 32 ounces here, 32 here, 32, 30 to see, and four quarts in a gallon, how many ounces are there in four quarts or one gallon? Well, 32 times four, that's 128 ounces in every gallon. So now we can do all kinds of great stuff. There will be in your homework some problems dealing with this. Like, you know, two, I won't, I'm not going to clutter up my picture here. I want to keep it nice and clean. Take a picture of, but let's do some air math again. Okay, there's air quotes, air guitar. Here's some air math. Let's say we have, get way over here, okay? What if we have two and a half pints? And I want to convert that into milliliters, huh? Oh my goodness, how do I do that? Hmm? Well, try this out for size. Can I first convert this into ounces? I can. Let's first convert two and a half pints, okay? In fact, forget the air stuff. I'll do it on the, on the board here, okay? That's easier. Let's convert two and a half pints first. Let's convert pints into ounces. I'm going to show you something else about how you can take two steps to get to some place if you need to. Okay, two and a half pints. Let's convert pints first into ounces. Well, let's see, one pint is what? 16 ounces. Now we cancel this, cancel. To make it work in the calculator, I gotta call two and a half, 2.5. So I take 2.5, 2.5. They're both on top, so I multiply by 16. And that's 40. So that's 40 ounces. But that's ounces. I need to know how many milliliters that is. Let's take it one more step. I'm now going to convert 40 ounces, ounces, into milliliters. Well, let me see here. Um, ounces to milliliters. Hey, the medicine cup, one ounce is 30 milliliters. Ounces cancel. Well, now look here. They're both on top. It's 40 times 30 in your head. That's 1,200. It better be. So, I ask first, two and a half pints. I need to know how many milliliters that is. So since I didn't know directly how many milliliters in a pint, we may get there later, I took two steps to get there. I first converted the two and a half pints into ounces and got that, then converted the ounces into milliliters. So I know you're going to, and your brain's fried, and your guts are turning over inside, and you get ulcers, and you wet your pants or something, but look. This is going to be kind of, this is not typical. You're not going to have one like this on your quiz. But you may have some of these on the homework. So here's the caution. If you have some of these weird things in the homework, don't worry about it. Now, we're not quite yet ready for doing the homework. But I'm just cautioning you now. The main things in the homework, there will be, uh, pardon me, on the quiz. Back up. The main things on the quiz, number three will be still, just like quiz two, moving decimals to convert metric to metric measurements. And all four of those things on the medicine cup, ounces, milliliters, teaspoons, tablespoons, and the one I erased that, the kilogram and pound thing, one kilogram, 2.2 pounds. Those will be on your quiz. Anything else in the homework, if there are problems where you convert ounces into pints and pints into cups or gallons into blah 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 if you want to do those on the homework fine you can ignore those if you want to because they won't be on the quiz but you know try to do some of those and uh try real hard but they won't be on the quiz more about the quiz in the next video but work on galvin man here I'll take a, you know, go to the blackboard. There'll be a picture to look at, print out whatever you want to do, stomp on him. I don't care what you do.